And now, ladies and gentlemen, silence for the president of the Royal Society for putting things on top of other. Ah, yes. Ah, oh, yes. Welcome, sir. Welcome. Welcome, sir. Welcome. Welcome. Hello. Make yourself at home. Happy to see you. Thank you all very much for your warm and generous reception. No trouble, sir. I am much touched by it. This year has been a very good one for our society. This year, our members have put more things on top of other things than ever before. Oh, well oh, done. Well done. Well well done. Well done. Uh, lovely and all that. Uh, can we go home now? We should all be very proud of ourselves. Yes, we should. However, this is no time to be complacent. There are still many things, and I cannot emphasise this strongly enough, not on top of other things. Oh, yes. 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 It's a shame, really. I myself, on my way to this meeting, saw at least 20 different things that should have been on top of other things that weren't. No, oh, what a disappointment, shame, man. What a disappointment. Shame. Can we go home now? Shame on them. However, we must also not fall to despotism. And we must always remember that if it weren't for putting things on top of other things, this society would be nothing more than a bunch of rich twits getting together for no good purpose other than to be a bunch of... Oh, yes! Oh, yeah, yeah. I couldn't have put it on myself. Now then, I am here to make a little announcement on our success. This year, our Wolverhampton branch and all associates of the Wolverhampton branch have succeeded in putting no fewer then 22 different things on top of other things. All right, yes, well, very well, nice. Well, very nice. Yes, I got that game still, last when do we year. Go got that game. There is still one dark cloud on the horizon. This year, our Staffordshire branch and all associates of the Staffordshire branch failed to put one thing on top of another. Same, 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 same. I now turn us over to our Staffordshire representative to explain this strange and Unorthodox behaviour. Oh dear, you're welcome. Welcome, Monsieur. Um, Cutler, Staffordshire. Well, Mr. Chairman, it's just we here at the Staffordshire Division have found this whole operation to be a uh, oh, rather bit silly. Silly? 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 How silly? dare you? Uh, Does that we can go? Silly? What on earth do you mean, silly? Well, I suppose it is a rather bit silly. What on earth are we all doing silly. here, right? Reading adjourned right. forever. Right. 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 Goodbye. Right. Goodbye. Right. Goodbye. Right. Right. Finally. And now for something completely different, a sketch on flying sheep. Oh, good morning, Squire. Oh, morning. You visiting here? No, I live here. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> Um, those are sheep over there, are they? Are. They are. Well, why are they in the trees? Fair question. One which I've been trying to answer myself. It is my belief that those sheep are nested. What? Nesting? What? Are. Like a bird? Are, yes. They're labouring under the misapprehension that they are birds. Uh, that's not the only instance. Look over there. Notice how they attempt to hop on their two back legs instead of all four of them. <coughs> no notice how one sheep is trying to fly from tree to tree. Also notice how they do not so much as fly as plummet. <coughs> notice over there. Notice over there. A mother sheep is trying to teach her children how to fly. <coughs> ah, talk about the blind leading the blind. Well, why do they think they're birds? Another fair question, one which I'm afraid I don't have the answer to. But one thing we can certainly agree on, the sheep is no creature of the air. Its body is too vast for the simple act of perching. <coughs> oh, I'm gone. Not only that. Its body is completely unadaptable to the issues of the air, but the sheep don't know it. You see, the trouble is, sheep are a very dim species. Very dim indeed. 
Once they get an idea lodged in their heads, there's no shaking it. So I can see, so I can see. Well, where'd they get the idea from? Oh, they got it from Harold, or there. He's that most dangerous of sheep, lying under the elm. See, I see. Harold has figured out that a sheep's life mainly consists of standing around in the grass and being eaten. Now, that's a sad prospect for the most ambitious of sheep. So he's hell-bent on the idea of escape. Well, why don't you just get rid of Harold? That won't that solve the issue? Ah, we could, we could. However, you're ignoring the enormous commercial benefits, should he succeed. And what exactly are the enormous commercial benefits of ovine aviation? You see, on le trouve le capitaine peut-être anglais et de monsieur Rabshaw. Vive Brian, wherever you are. D'accord, d'accord, d'accord. And maintenant, je vous présente mon collègue, le poste célèbre, Jean Brian. J'attapatique. Maintenant, les motons, les blablabla, les lending, les wheels. Bon, bon, les wheels. Ici, it's formidable. Nessa, impa, umpa. As soon as the pressure, the machine, 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 Merci. Le bagage! Oh, le bagage! Il saute! Ils ont été! Ils ont été! Everything! Le bagage! 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 Le now then, if you'll remember back a few months back, actually more than a few months back, I checked in on Rekili and Johnny's Productions, and oh, I said, What? It's pronounced Rockley and Johnny's Productions. I don't care how it's pronounced, man. They're acting like idiots. I don't bloody care. Anyways, I checked in on this very production company many months ago, and I told them that I would be forced to take action if their videos got any sillier. And I fear that they are getting sillier than before. This whole video... It's something, it's stuff, it's just, it's silly. It's nothing sort of silly. It's out of office a wonderful little idea for a royal society for putting things on top of other things, but now it's just gotten silly. You can tell they weren't proper royal society members. They didn't have their ties. And those two idiots who were presenting the flying sheep, they're no experts. It's obvious their French accents are awful. Clear off the lot of you. Now I'm making one more warning. If things get any sillier here in Rackley and Johnny's Productions, and don't bloody correct me how it's pronounced, I don't bloody care. If things get any sillier, I will be forced to take drastic action. Thank you. That has been a message Oh, get the... stuff, man! I'm sick of your announcing! Well, excuse me for doing my job. And now for something completely different. The credits. We apologize greatly for the fault in the credits. Those responsible have been sacked. We once again apologize for the fault in the credits. Those responsible for the sacking of the people who have been sacked have themselves been sacked.
we once more apologize for the fault in the crudits. Those responsible for the socking of the people who have been socked, who themselves were responsible for the socking of the people who have been socked, have themselves been socked. The crudits will now carry on in a new steel at great expense. We hip UNG. Thank you.